Hey everybody! Today I have a haul for you guys. I wonder if you guys like my new little lighting situation. Thumbs up if you do. Tell me what you think. And let's get into some of these products that I picked up at Walgreens. First I have the Jordana Glow and Go in shade number 2. And ultimately it's just a highlighting stick. Next I have the Maybelline Master Camo. And it's for color correcting and contouring. And I got it in the deepest shade. Let me open this thing good. I'm going to do a first impression on these products. But I just want to swatch a little bit for y'all. So I'm going into the last row. It's in the correct conceal and highlight. Correct conceal highlight. And from what I can feel, they are very creamy and pigmented. Let's see. Okay. That palette looks like a winner. Next, I picked up the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. And I really, really hope I like this. It has like the tip, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and it is retractable and it has that same little tip. Little tip. <laughs> it just has the same tip. What other word can I say besides tip? Tip, tip, tip. <sighs> I hope your mind went in the gutter. So, if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you guys know that I was in love with the um, Milani primer that I can seem not to find anymore. But Milani came out with a new primer. No one. And it's Milani Prime Light. It's a strobing pore minimizer. And it's oil free. So, I am all down for this. I'm for it because I do have some big pores like right in here and on my nose. Can't wait to try this, baby. Okay, so the next thing I got was the CoverGirl So Lashy Mascara. And I want to say this has fibers like the Too Faced Better Than Sex. But what makes this different than other drugstore mascaras is it has this little wand on it. Yeah, I'll overlook these fingernails. I have to polish them. But it has that little tip on it. Tip, tip. Some of the tips. And, I uh, can't get it open. 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 Oh, so the, um, the wand actually comes separate from the mascara until you use it. That's neat. Or it's just like this so you can see the wand i don't know but yeah i'm not gonna open it yet until i use it so i'm gonna put it back in the box 24k nudes i had just been seeing this every freaking where so i just decided since it was the last one on the shelf that i needed it i needed it but these are some beautiful beautiful colors i cannot wait to create some really pretty looks with this I'm going to swatch a couple of them. This gold. That black. Oh, that purple. Have one more finger. So I'm going to that brown. Not the best swatches, but um, I've been digging my finger in there. I know they're very pigmented, how they picked up. This next product I'm very excited about. I can't wait to do a first impression on. This is the Soraka. 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 Soraka Foundation by Eva Lagoria. And I cannot wait to try it. I tested it in Walgreens. Her stuff does have a tester. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I got the shade 08. I think it comes in like mm, 11 or 12 shades. So, yeah. This is going to be very interesting i really like like the formula on the back of my hand i know that really doesn't make a difference on the back of your hand on your face but sometimes you can tell because it'll dry like hard or soft or you can tell by the coverage so next is this marvelous matte um nani cream color prevails watercolor eyeshadow palette i thought this was just like 
so neat. This is the first time I had saw anything like this at Walgreens. I was like, it reminds me of like a painter. And it's like, I don't know, nature. It's just so freaking pretty. And these are the colors that's in it. It's nothing like a typical person. Well, I'm not a typical person. It's nothing that would catch your eye like a lot of people eye at the drugstore. Because look at the packaging. You know, packaging sales. Some people will be like, eh, what I'm in the zone with that. But I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to show it some love. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It has a little something, something right here. I don't feel like reading it, but these are the colors and aren't they beautiful? I love this purple and this teal color and this blue color and I'm um, a pinky like color. Swatch marvelously. Oh, this one is a tad bit better than that Maybelline one. Thank you guys for stopping by and seeing what I picked up from my local drugstore. If you have some new products that you've tried or you want me to try, leave it down below. Until next time, beautifuls. Love y'all.